Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing this full face of Charlotte Tilbury Glam. I've been having so much fun playing around with her brand new Hot Lips 2 collection, and since today is the day that it drops on Sephora.com and Nordstrom.com, as well as, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury website, I figured why not play around with some more of her incredible products. So today I created a purple, somewhat sparkly, but daytime appropriate makeup look. Or at least I think that's what I achieved. That's what I set out to do. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this makeup look, just keep watching. My skincare is complete, there is nothing on my face. So the first step is to prime our eyelids and I've never used this before so I'm gonna try this Magic Away Liquid Concealer. It's what I would usually do with the Chanel corrector, so I'm just going to use this to prime my lids just to kind of create a nice smooth canvas so that the colors are more vibrant of the eyeshadow I'm going to apply. The concealer has a pretty thin consistency. I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford concealing pens with the little sponge applicator top. I think that does the trick just fine. So I kind of figured it would work. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold Cream Eyeshadow, which again is very similar to the Tom Ford and the Soleil Blanc, the Golden Peach. The two colors are almost identical. I've swatched them both in store. And then I'm also going to be using the Glamour Muse Eyeshadow Palette. So with a fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up this shade right here, which I believe is the Smoke shade. Ooh, kicks up a lot of dust. And I'm going to softly buff this into the crease. For the lid, I'm taking that rose gold cream eyeshadow just the smallest amount. You really don't need to use much with these. And I'm going to apply this with a little flat shader brush and I'm picking up a teeny tiny bit. Did you see the color? <laughs> and then I'm just going to apply that directly to the lid. And this time I'm concentrating the color inside. And this is sort of going to act as a base. Those cream eyeshadows blend out like a dream. And now this is going to be the fun part. So we laid that down before it completely dries. I'm going to quickly use my finger to pick up this purple shimmer, which looks very deep, very, very vibrant, but it should go on relatively sheer, but it does have a little bit of sparkle to it. And I don't want that falling all over my cheeks later. So I'm going to sort of press this into the cream shadow so that it sticks and also creates a really pretty kind of purple pink shade. It's really nice. We really don't have much fallout at all. Before I move on, I'm gonna go back very quickly with my fluffy brush, and I'm just sort of tapping, tap, 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 a little bit into that previous eyeshadow, and I'm just going to go right back into this outer V area. I don't wanna cover up the purple, but I do wanna keep it nice and soft. To begin the face, I'm using my Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have the shade three, and I'm going to use this almost like a primer. If you put it underneath your foundation, it looks like you're glowing from within and it will help your makeup to sort of glow, adhere a little bit better. It creates a nice little buffer between the skin. And I just sort of, sort of start in the center points of the face and then blend. You really don't need to go all over the entire face or you might beam a little bit too bright. So just a little bit. And the Stofoot wand applicator doesn't really deposit a lot of product, so that's why you saw me use it a couple times. It may seem like I'm being really heavy handed, but it really just doesn't really apply very much. Mm -hmm. 
And next, I'm going to be using foundation. So today, I'm going to use the Magic Foundation. This has a demi-matte finish, which I personally love. I'm using my same brush. I really love the combination of the Magic Foundation and the Flawless Filter together. On their own, they're great as well, but together it's that perfect, healthy glow, matte, but not too matte, dewy, not too dewy look, which I think is really nice. So next, I'm gonna go back with my Magic Away Liquid Concealer, and I'm going to use this to conceal under my eyes and also highlight my face. Oh my gosh, I thought we were going to have a Tom Ford lipstick situation. Okay, now the product's starting to come out. There we go. Maybe even a little bit too much now. Whoops. So far, I really love the concealer. I'm excited to see how it wears throughout the day. I tend to get a little bit of settling right in here, and generally I'll find that it occurs almost immediately after I apply my concealer, blend it out. If the brush didn't pick up enough excess product and it's starting to crease a little bit, I like to just go in with my ring finger and gently pat the area. And I am gonna set it, but first I'm going to go in with the contour wand. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade medium dark. This I am so excited to play with. Oh, I think you just squeeze. Ooh. I have tried this on my hand and swatched it around. So I am not scared. I know that this is going to blend out and it'll be perfect. There is a lighter shade but I'm just going to blend this out and I'm using the Smoothing Face Brush from Bare Minerals. Really quick and easy. The lighter shade looked a little bit too cool. It was like, chocolate milk. I don't know, it scared me. So this one is a lot darker and probably intended for people who are more tan or have more color than I do. But I would rather use a little bit less product and have the color be right than use the one that is supposed to be for light to medium but have the color look a little bit too cool tone, too kind of gray. I don't know, I prefer my bronze to be more golden because to me that mimics a natural tan. That is so pretty. I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury powder, so I'm just going to set my concealer using the Chanel Loose Powder. For cheeks, I'm going to use one of the new Hot Lips 2 lipsticks. And this is a trick that I had learned in one of my trainings and we've previously discussed here on my channel that you can use any of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks as a cream cheek, as a blusher. Which is a trick that I've done before and I was really sort of soft and subtle about it. I kind of timidly tacked on my cheeks. The other day I was watching Sophia Tilbury apply makeup and she was just going in pretty aggressively with the tube 
directly to the face and it shocked me. I was so scared, but of course she is such a talented makeup artist, so she just blended it out beautifully and of course she was working on a supermodel, but the makeup looked beautiful. I mean, the woman was already stunning, but it was just so funny because I was almost like gasped as soon as I saw her whip out the lipstick and I thought, no, it's gonna be too much. I'm just not that bold <laughs> to apply directly to my cheek. I feel like things could get out of hand. And I, I believe in the video she was using Glowing Gen, so that's why I think this one is sort of perfect as a blush color as well. To highlight my cheeks, I'm going to use the Spotlight Beauty Wand, and I'm just going to tap a little bit of this on with my fingers. A little bit goes a long way. I always hate when I watch my videos back and I've said, a little bit goes a long way. I think that's one of those makeup cliches. <laughs> At this point, we should expect it. A little bit is always going to go a long way. <laughs> I find that I say that so many times in a video. Oof, that is so nice. To finish up the eyes, I'm gonna take a small precision brush and I'm picking up this smoky shade right here in the corner. And I'm really going to take this underneath the lower lash line, but really sort of concentrating it on the outside. I don't want it to become a smoky eye. I don't want it to get too dark. Like I said before, this is really a daytime look. So I'm just gonna kind of bring it in a little bit just to give the eyes a little definition. I went ahead and lined my top lash line with some black liquid eyeliner and I filled in my eyebrows and next I'm going to coat my lashes with the Legendary Lashes Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. To finish the eyes once and for all, I'm taking my precision brush again and I'm picking up this really light pearl shade and I'm going to use that to highlight the inner corner of the eye and I'm going to use it to highlight the brow bone. Now for lips, I'm going to try something. I haven't done this off camera before. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the lip cheat in the shade Bond Girl very, very lightly. And I'm gonna try to create almost an ombre lip. So I'm using this lightly, mostly in the outer corners. Okay, so I've blended that out with my fingers to keep it nice and soft. And then I'm going in with Dance Floor Princess, which is a really pretty light nude.
Now that lips are done, I'm going to complete the look by setting my face with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir, which is probably one of my favorite setting sprays, if not my favorite. And that completes today's look. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. Let me know what you guys think of this finished look. I think we sort of achieved the improbable. It's a purple sparkly eye, but still somewhat daytime. So let me know your thoughts. As always, I will be linking everything that I use today on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.